Hello everybody, this is Isaac Sanchez here, your financial guide and your financial advisor. And let's not be ordinary, but extraordinary today. Now today, I'll be talking to you about a 401k retirement plan. This retirement plan is in, of course, the IRS code known as Section 401, Subsection K, which allows all employers to encourage and give you a retirement account known as a 401k, which of course you can work into and is pretty much operated by you. Or of course, you could pay somebody to operate and manage it for you. Now, the 401k, once you sign up for it, a percentage will be taken out of your paycheck automatically, uh, depending on how much you want to put into it. Now, once you put this money in, of course, you will then have to either be it taxed or tax-free, which is where a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA comes in. A traditional IRA means that the money that you put into it now will be tax-free. And once you hit retirement and withdraw that money, you will pay taxes on every withdrawal that you make in the future. A Roth IRA means that you pay the taxes now on the money that you put in. So once you withdraw it in retirement, that will be tax-free money that you can withdraw without any tax penalties. So it depends on what kind of person you are and if you want your tax benefits now or later in your retirement life. This money cannot be withdrawn until you are 59 and a half years old. Because if you do take it out before that time, there will be an early withdrawal penalty. This penalty can be prevented if you decide to call in and ask if you can. This is of course age dependent. So if you're anywhere from age 40 to 40 to 20 when you have this account, the answer will be no if you can take an early withdrawal. But being 50 or any older, then there could be a possibility where you could take an early withdrawal out. Also, if your job finds a match to this 401k, they can contribute money to this plan as well. So, basically, you'll be getting free extra money in this period of time. But there will be a work period that you have to work that can that match money becomes yours meaning that your employer will put that money into your 401k and match it as long as you stay in that work period until that money of course is yours into your 401k now i'll be talking about the type of investments that you can put into this 401k the 401k offers mutual funds and etfs or you could have a self-directed one so ask your employer about it the self-directed one, of course, has more freedom because it is directed by yourself. And also, 401k can option up to a lot of investments that you have. But these investments comes with fees. These fees are administrative fees, industrial fees, or service fees. Although, if you don't accept those fees, you can always go with other accounts like an IRA. Or, if you want to roll it over to an IRA or other retirement account. It means that if you are accommodated with another company and you want to merge over all your 401k accounts, you can merge it over and put it into one of your primary and right now the account that you have with it. So any companies that you have 401ks with, you can merge them together into your primary account that you currently have. Or you could merge it over to or roll it to an IRA account. Now, using a 401k is a great way of paying yourself and is a really great investment for your future. Paying it forward is always good for you, your family, and your future generation. Now, if this video helped out, like, subscribe, and of course, share knowledge with others that are interested. I usually post every Saturday, Sunday. So of course, this is Isaac, and I'll see you in the next video.